So the Oilers have had a pretty quiet offseason. The biggest thing they did was signing Connor Brown, who's probably going to play in the top six. He has that eerie connection with Connor McDavid, so it's probably going to be playing alongside him, and that's a big move. They also signed the man they call the Doc, Derek Ryan, who is a steady Eddie, fourth-line centerman, Good solid move there too. But if you talk to anyone in and around Edmonton right now, their hands are tied because they have to sign RFAs Evan Bouchard and Ryan McLeod before they can actually do anything. Now Bouchard is obviously number one priority here. He's going to get a contract at about four million bucks by all accounts, but they're still trying to work through the logistics of that. Whereas McLeod is going to come in more around 1.5, 2 million bucks. And as I'm sure you figured out, the Oilers can't really go out and make some more free agent signings or even really trades until they figure out how much these two guys are going to cost exactly. However, things are going to get really interesting here because as Alan Mitchell of The Athletic mentioned, after Bouchard and McLeod get signed, you could see, quote, a flurry of activity in Edmonton. Now, the three names brought up by Mitchell, which are found on the hockey writers through The Athletic, are extremely interesting. Number one, Jonathan Taves. That one, it's really up in the air. We've talked about that before. I think it would be cool as a fourth-line center, but again, he very well could be retiring here because of his health issues. So don't bank on that one. The second one, Oilers fans, start licking your chops. Thomas Tatar, who just came off a 20-goal season with the Devils, he led the Montreal Canadiens in scoring a few years back, and he is not washed up by any means. He might not be number one Habs scorer. There's memes about him, Thomas Tatar, but he's still a very serviceable middle six player. I could see him getting some very good power play reps with McDavid, and you could get him for cheaper than you otherwise would have because he had an absolutely awful Steve Smith against the Flames type playoffs. And not literally, of course, but man, was he a Casper. The other name mentioned was Paul Stastny, who I've been very high on for years. I mean, this guy in the face-off circle is absolute money. And yes, he's really getting up there in age, and he's got some heavy mileage on him. But in the bottom six, you can't tell me that Stastny would be a great serviceable option. Even if you have to healthy scratch him a couple of nights, I think you could get some really good minutes out of him. And honestly, we just saw in these past playoffs with guys like Nick Cousins in Florida, Brett Howden in Vegas. These types of depth signings, that's what pushes you over the top, man. And Paul Stastny's a veteran who's been there, done that. Those are the signings the Oilers need to look at right now. Not the the big home run swing Milan Lucic six, seven year contract. No, no, no. You need to fill out here with these types of deals and make the right puzzle pieces fit where they need to go in order to win. Now, as far as goaltending, you guys know my position on this. I really don't feel comfortable with Skinner and Campbell as a duo there. I just, I don't know. I don't really like what I've seen from that in the past. I think they should go show that up, but again, it's really tough in this soft goalie market we've got going right now, and on defense, I'm not a huge fan of Darnell Nurse with the money he's making there, but I mean, you can only do so much as a GM. These next few weeks are going to be really interesting for the Oilers. Once Bouchard and McLeod get signed, the floodgates are going to start to open. They can make some other signings. There was some talk about maybe an offer sheet for Evan Bouchard. I really don't see it. I guess it could technically still happen, but uh, I'd bet on it not happening. And then we'll see going forward the moves they're going to make. Because make no mistake about it, the Oilers are going to make more moves. They're not going to walk into the season with exactly this roster. Something else is coming before October. Let me know what you think it is in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.